Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going over the Oculus Link. Yeah, baby, it came out today, so it's still in beta, but it works really well. I should say still in beta, it just came out today. We're gonna go over how to set it all up. Very, very easy to do. The cables that I would recommend with it, and we'll dive in and take a quick look in the home environment. Check that out. It's very cool. It's so much better than the Quest environment. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this. Tyco Tech. Tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, first thing I wanna do is I gotta give a shout out to today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Recoverit by Wondershare. So Recoverit is file data recovery software. It works very, very well. I had the fortunate, unfortunate uh, experience uh, two days ago where I got to use the software in like an emergency situation. Long story short, I took a 512 gigabyte card out of my cell phone. I stuck it into a camera that only supports up to 256 gigabytes. It corrupted the card. Nothing would read the card. I put it into a micro SD card reader, slapped it into my computer, ran the software, and it saved the day. It recovered everything that was on the card in addition to a ton of stuff that I had previously deleted. So a lot of movies that were on there got recovered as well. So it works. I will provide a link to it down below. They do offer a free version which will recover up to 200 megabytes of data. So if you accidentally delete a picture or two or you've reformatted a card by mistake or a card or a hard drive or something has become corrupt, you can save the data. So thanks to Wondershare and their Recover It software for sponsoring this video and now let's jump into this so first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need the oculus software and it's just the regular software that you would use for the rift i will provide a link to download it down below it is a big file it's over six and a half gigabytes so it is going to take a little bit of time to download and then install however once it's installed it's so easy. I'm not even going to do like screencast of it. You're going to be presented with three options. Is this a Rift, a Rift S, or an Oculus Quest? You're going to click on Quest. Then you're going to plug your Quest into the PC. You just need to use a USB 3 cable. It does not need to be USB-C to USB-C. I've seen a lot of questions around that. It can be USB-C to USB-A. You will need to look inside of the Quest and I'll provide a screen shot of what that looks like and you are going to need to click enable you're going to need to enable the link software or app inside of the headset uh, and then you're just going to click like next next like twice with the rift or the oculus software and boom it works it's super easy very 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 intuitive to set up uh, next really you're going to be thinking well what kind of cable do i need to make this work usb c3 i'm sorry usb3 cable USB-C on one side for the Quest, and either C or A depending on the ports on your computer. Uh, but it does need to be USB 3. The cable that came with the Quest is USB 2. That will not work with the link. So the cables that I like, um, they were both sent to me for free. Uh, so thank you to the manufacturers. I had like a few manufacturers hit me up saying, you wanna try out our cables. Uh, and so I was able to kind of sift through and these were the cables that I landed on, um, mostly for design and features. So this is, a cable called the party link cable right here um, and it is USB-C on one side and USB-C on the other side it does include a USB-C to USB-A adapter right here so it will work on your computer regardless of the ports that you've got there the big design choice is what I liked and that is this L-shaped connector right here I always use L-shaped connectors on my quest I don't know if you've ever seen any of my older videos I usually have a magnetic cable but it is an L-shaped uh, cable. I just don't like those straight ones. They can get caught. There's way too much leverage there. I really do not want to damage the port, which is why I also use magnetic cables. Uh, I don't want to damage the port. If you ruin the USB port on your Quest, you are out of luck. You're not going to be able to charge it for standalone. Uh, and then if you're using it wired, obviously you're not going to be able to use that. Um, so this cable uh, is $19.99 on Amazon and it was purpose built for 
the Quest and Oculus Link, why they call it the Party Link cable. Um, so yeah, like that cable. Um, and this is the cable that I've used most of today because that was close enough uh, to my computer. It's only 10 feet long. That is the one drawback. Uh, 10 feet is a little bit short, uh, but for me, I've got my laptop. I just put it over on the coffee table and then I was playing next to the coffee table. That was enough for me. But let's say that you're using a desktop or a tower PC and it's like over there. And you're like, but dude, I got a game over there. Then you want a cable like this. So this is by a company called Weemi and it's just kind of all tangled up. This cable is 33 feet long. It's 10 meters long. Uh, it is USB 3 and it is a powered or an amplified cable. Um, so you do have a power supply that plugs into it and it works great. I didn't have any problems. I could not tell the difference when I was using this cable or just the shorter cable. No latency, no lag work perfectly. Um, I was actually, I tested it without the power and it worked, but it was kind of glitchy. It wasn't a perfect experience the way it was when it was powered. So you do want to power it up. One drawback to this cable, um, but I think it's just inherent to the way that these powered extension cables work, is the power goes into like the extension side, not the side that you plug in to your computer. The extension cable itself is five feet long. Uh, so I already, already had a, an extension cable, a wall, like a powered extension cable in my living room. So I just kind of dragged out where I wanted it to go. And then I was able to play in an area that was like 15 by 15 so pretty big big enough i don't think you're going to need a bigger play space and i didn't have any problems with the cable uh getting caught you know or being too short uh so this along with this and you're getting over 40 feet so your computer can be you know 25 feet away and then you're going to have you know 10 15 feet of play space um, i did contact the manufacturer to see what size tip this was because Amazon sells extension cables for everything. Um, so once they reply back, I will put a link down in the description below with an extension cable. So you get, you know, a 15, 20 foot extension cable like this and then plug it in and that will solve any issues you may have with uh, the power supply having to be close to this end. But again, for me, that, that wasn't really a problem, but some people might be. Um, so that is that. Now let's go ahead and actually jump in to the Quest and I will show you what it looks like. Now I can't cast this to my PC like I normally do. Uh, it just doesn't work because I can't run casting. It won't record using OBS Studios. It's just a limitation I think mainly to my PC not being super powerful. But let's go ahead and jump in here. I gotta be careful, I'm wearing glasses. My contacts have been giving me a hard time. Let me just make sure, there we go. Uh, grab this other controller, bada boom. Okay, so check this out. So this is your home environment right here. And you can customize everything about this environment. To move around, you just use your thumbsticks, uh, aim the direction you wanna face with the joystick around in a circle, and that's the way you'll end up facing, like pull back, push forward, now I'm facing inside. Uh, yeah, so pretty cool. In order to pull up your menu in Oculus, you're gonna right click your Oculus home menu, very similar to the Quest, exactly the same. And then these are all of your options down below. Uh, for cross by games like these games I've got up here, uh, Slightly Heroes, Pistol Whip, The Exorcist, uh, Ansher Wars, or Ansher 2, these were all cross by. In order to find games that are cross by, you're just going to have to sift through the store. And if you see a game that you own and the price is slashed through and it says free, that's a cross by. Oculus has not just created a list, which they should do, of cross by games in the store where you can go, oh, I've got all these games. They don't make it that easy, unfortunately. So that's how you're going to have to find your cross by games. If you want to modify your home environment, you're going to click the Oculus button on the left controller right here. Oh, I think I'm going to back out of this. And then this is this. Uh, so in here, you've got a list of places. So these are like different home environments, your homes, popular homes. You can go check out your friend's homes um, and it'll save a bunch of your own home environments right here. Uh, and you can go in and you can totally customize this. You've got inventory. So these are things that I've got in my inventory I can place. I don't know. I haven't played with this enough, but boom, here we got blasters and balls and so you can put basketball hoops and actually play basketball. But I still have 
a lot to learn on the Oculus Home there, but I just wanted to quickly show you that. Tons of customization. Uh, you guys will have fun figuring it out, as will I. Uh, I'm not gonna launch a game, because then it goes to a whole different window and you, I can't show it anyways. But the games run really well. Definitely check out Echo Arena. That is a pretty cool game. I've got a computer with a 1050 Ti graphics card. I didn't think it would run very well and it ran perfectly. Um, so, so far I'm having a great experience and I don't have a high-end gaming PC. Uh, we shall see with some of the bigger games like Asgard's Wrath, things like that. Probably not gonna run so well on my computer. Uh, but with the 1050i, so far so good. Had a member in our Facebook group a report that his 980M graphics card was working well with everything he tried. So really good stuff. Um, I'm super psyched that I now have the option to run some higher end uh, PC games on the Quest. I don't have to buy a Rift S. Uh, and then if I wanna be wireless and free, I just unplug it and boom, I've got the same old Quest that I love. Some people in the group were like complaining a little bit about, you know, oh, who needs the, the wires? Why didn't you just buy a Rift S in the first place if you're all excited about the link? And you know, for me, I was never expecting to have the ability to run Rift games on my Quest. So to me, that is like the icing on top of an already very delicious cake. So bring it on. I'm glad that they added that functionality because it's just another thing that I can do on top of all the goodness that the Quest offers. So yeah, that's that. If you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments down below. If you've got other cable ideas, let us know down in the comments down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up, that really does help the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. Uh, be sure to hit that bell button to get notified when I do these videos. Otherwise, there's kind of no point in subscribing. And that is that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.